You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent today a cable of congratulations to the Mauritian President Mohamed Wild Ghazouni on his country's Independence Day. His Majesty the King wished President Mohamed abundant health and happiness and a brotherly Mauritian people for their progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent today a cable of congratulations to the President of the Islamic Republic of Mauritania, Mohamed Wild Razouni, on the occasion of Mauritania's Independence Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Mauritania, Mohamed Wild Bla. In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment and Deputy Chairman of the REHRC's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the club today held the sixth race of the 2021 2022 season at its race course in Rafah Sakhir. Their Highnesses, Sheikhs, representatives of the sponsors, and equestrian sport fans also attended the nine round race, which was held over the cups of the Gulf Petrochemical Industries Company, GPIC. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa was presented with the trophy of the GPIC Cup by Plant Operation Manager at GPIC Khalid Yusuf Al Bin Ali following the success of Cloud Drift from the Gunners Racing Stable in winning the ninth round. Al Bin Ali also crowned owners Abdullah Fawzi Nas and Hadi Ibrahim Al Afu, the winners of the fourth and eighth rounds, respectively.
His Majesty King Felipe VI of Spain met yesterday with the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Josia Bint Abdelazinel, on the sidelines of the 143rd Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union, the IPU, hosted by Spain. His Majesty King Felipe met a number of heads of parliaments during the opening ceremony of the 143rd IPU Assembly. Speaker Fauzia Zainal affirmed that the Bahraini Spanish relations are progressing steadily across various fields thanks to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa's visions and keenness to open up wider horizons of cooperation and coordination with various countries based on the openness to other people and countries' approach. She commended the solid friendship relations between Bahrain and Spain, affirming the keenness of the legislative branch in Bahrain to enhance parliamentary relations with Spain in order to support the ongoing effective partnership between the two friendly countries. The Kingdom of Bahrain has won the membership of the International Bureau of Education, the IBE of the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, the UNESCO, representing the Arab States Group during the UNESCO's General Conference in France and the meetings of its committees. Education Minister Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi extended sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion. Dr. Naimi said that the new achievements proves the distinguished status enjoyed by the Kingdom thanks to the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamid in all fields, including education, noting UNESCO's respect and appreciation for the kingdom. The IBE was established in 1925 as a private non-governmental organization and became an integral part of UNESCO in 1969. Its mandate is to strengthen the capacities of member states to design, develop and implement curricula that ensure the equity, quality, development, relevance and resource efficiency of education and learning systems. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali al-Khalifa, has participated in the 24th International Congress of Judicial Officers. Themed Cyber Justice, New Opportunities for the Judicial Officer, the four-year event was held by Dubai courts under the patronage of the Deputy Dubai Ruler, Deputy UAE Prime Minister, Finance Minister and Chairman of Dubai Judicial Council, His Highness Sheikh Maktoum bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The Justice Minister met his UAE counterpart, Dr. Abdullah bin Sultan bin Awad bin Naimi, with whom he discussed areas of bilateral cooperation in the judicial and legal fields. Sheikh Khalid bin Ali also visited Dubai courts where he was welcomed by the director Tarish Eid Al Mansouri who briefed him about Dubai courts features and developments especially regarding digital transformation. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, announced that the Kingdom of Bahrain has completed the fourth trade policy review of the World Trade Organization held at the organization's headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. The minister explained that the Kingdom has gained wide welcoming from the WTO and member states following its presentation over a three-day period clarifying the most important procedures, legislations and government programs that directly reflect on the development of the trade environment in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The presentation was delivered with the participation of a delegation that included the permanent representative of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Nations, Ambassador Dr. Yusuf Abdel Karim Bouchiri, and representatives of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, the Ministry of Finance and National Economy, the Central Bank of Bahrain, the National Bureau of Revenue, and the Economic Development Board. Mr. Zayani expressed pride in this achievement, which adds to the Kingdom's record of remarkable accomplishments, stating that Bahrain, with its success and ambitions, has today become a global model to be followed at all levels and has proven its accuracy of the procedures, legislation, and sound steps, thanks to the great support of the Kingdom's wise leadership and with the participation of all concerned parties in one spirit under Team Bahrain in overcoming many crises, especially the repercussions of the global pandemic. In addition, head of the Commerce Policy Review Committee, Ms. Atalia Molkomi Netsrana, praised the legislative developments and procedures achieved by the Kingdom of Bahrain since the previous assessment in 2014. She described the assessment results as very positive, given the great interaction which can be described as clear and transparent, witnessed from the Bahraini side of the organization and its members. On the occasion, Minister Zayani expressed gratitude and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their constant support, directives and ambitious visions to create a robust economy that is based on diversity and creativity. The Minister also valued the great efforts made by the delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain and all government agencies, bodies, councils, the legislative authority and all those who participated in preparing programs and plans to support this important file. The inspection department at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism in cooperation with the concerned authorities intensified its inspection tours during the period of offers and discounts in the Kingdom. These measures aimed at monitoring markets, malls and shops in all governorates of the Kingdom during this period of offers and discounts. The Ministry had prepared a comprehensive work plan to cover shops and markets to ensure that the required health precautions and requirements are adhered to and that the necessary licenses for the offers and discounts are in place and valid. The tightened monitoring during this period comes with the aim of ensuring 
claimed that consumers' demand for purchase is not exploited to promote fake or misleading offers and discounts or to carry out any violating commercial practices, as well as to guarantee public safety by applying the necessary precautionary measures. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adel bin Abdurrahman al-Assoumi, announced that the Arab Center for Combating Terrorism and Extremist Ideology at the Arab Parliament will be a coordinating hub for the Call of the African Coast Initiative, or Nida al-Sahel, which was adopted by the Arab Parliament last July. The initiative is based on institutional parliamentary cooperation between the Arab Parliament, the Interparliamentary Union, the Mediterranean Parliament, and the Interparliamentary Committee of the five Sahel states. This came during the participation of the Speaker of the Arab Parliament in the ninth meeting of the high-level advice group on combating terrorism and extremism ideology of the Interparliamentary Union, which was held in Madrid. In his speech during the meeting, Al Asumi said that Nida al Sahel initiative is based on adopting a comprehensive parliamentary approach to combating terrorism. The consultant of infectious diseases and internal medicine at Salmania Medical Complex and member of the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, Dr. Jamila Salman, emphasized the importance of receiving a booster shot in light of the newly globally identified COVID-19 variant. Dr. Jamila noted that with the detection of new variant cases throughout the world, it is important to get vaccinated and receive a booster shot to protect one's health. She highlighted that the Kingdom's national vaccination campaign continues its endeavors to protect public health. Dr. Salman reiterated the importance of of getting vaccinated and receiving a booster shot, especially for the most vulnerable. She concluded by urging all to adhere to the necessary precautionary measures to safeguard public health in the kingdom. Meanwhile, the national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,187,171 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,157,193 had taken the second, and 550,091 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 277 with 16 recoveries, 26 registered new cases and no new deaths. Ten of the new registered cases were expatriates, 12 were contacts of active cases and four were travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.